Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make chicken noodle soup in your electric pressure cookers. I'm going to be using the Geek Shelf electric pressure cooker to show how to make it. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just follow the same directions on the stove. You'll find all the ingredients you need for today's demonstration throughout the video as well as in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and when you do, hit the bell and select all notifications. So I'm going to begin in the bottom of my Geek Chef electric pressure cooker on the saute function on the highest setting, high peak setting. I'm going to put in one bell pepper and a carrot and we're going to cook the two together. Just The bell pepper just cut up however you like as well as your carrots. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to let this cook for about now our carrots and bell pepper has cooked for six minutes and I threw in a couple of cloves of garlic and I sauteed it for about 30 seconds. So now what I'm going to do is add two stalks of celery that I slice. Now this part right here is totally customizable. I'm going to use beef stock because I love the flavor of beef stock in my chicken noodle soup. If you want to use chicken stock feel free. I'm going to put in one and a half quarts of beef broth. Now I thought I had onions on hand so that's why you didn't see me adding the onions in the beginning but you add the onions with the peppers and carrots. So I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of onion powder, a couple of teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper, about one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and then I have here one and a half pounds of chicken breasts. They're boneless and skinless chicken breasts that I trimmed. Now after all, adding all those ingredients we're going to give everything a stir together. I'm going to press put the lid onto my pressure cooker and make sure that the steam vent is closed. So now I'm going to hit cancel to cancel the saute function and then I'm going to hit poultry and I'm going to hit the time temp button and I'm going to hit the plus and I'm going to change it to 45 minutes and let it go and it will set so um, it, it will take a little bit to build pressure but once it's completely um, finished we'll be back. So my chicken is done I'm going to let all the steam out and one thing also I forgot to mention is make sure you hit the cancel button after you let out the steam. Next, pull out your chicken breasts and put into a bowl. Now I'm going to turn my pressure cooker on the saute function. And I'm going to set the temp to 390 degrees. And we're going to bring this liquid to a boil, our stock to a boil. That onion that I couldn't find, it magically reappeared. So I thinly sliced it and I'm going to go ahead and throw the onion in now. So in the meantime, we're going to shred the chicken as our stock comes to a boil. Our stock has come to a boil. I'm just going to give everything a stir. And then I'm going to put in eight ounces of egg noodles. And I'm using a medium egg noodles. This is the type that I'm using. So I'm going to give everything a stir. And I'm going to let this boil. Once it returns to a boil, I'm going to cover it and let the steam vent stay open. And I'm going to let this cook for about six minutes. So our noodles have cooked for eight minutes. And I'm going to pour in the remaining um, of the other half a quart of beef stock. So you're going to need two quarts total. But you're going to use one and a half quarts and then you add the other uh, half at the end. After adding the stock, we are going to um, stir in the chicken that we shredded up off camera. And then once this returned to temperature, I'm going to serve it. So here is our delicious soup. I garnished the top with some parsley. Our silverware and plateware is from Chef Sonus, so don't forget to check them out in the description box. 
So this gives us a taste. Mm, all that nice shredded chicken and those noodles. Those bits of celery and onions. Mmm. Absolutely fantastic. You can taste all those carrots and onions and celery. Really delicious, especially I love the beef stock in this. And like I say, if you don't want to use beef stock, you can use chicken stock as well. Mm. So delicious, please hit the thumbs up, add this video to your playlist, share this video. And if you like my videos and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel by ringing that notification bell when you hit the subscribe button and select all notifications. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and happy holidays.